welcome to the sixth episode. Epi- epi- <laughs> 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 Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth episode of Stock Talk! Alright, so we have our wonderful guest once again, Roar Gabby. Surprise! Bet you guys didn't Sur- see that coming. <laughs> Surprise! She raped you. Okay, and now that we've got the rape out of the way, <laughs> our podcast is not exactly appropriate for those of all ages. So please, hit your child until they become unconscious oh, before God. you listen to our podcast. <laughs> Let's begin with the KFF. This time on the KFF, we have Nice Peter... Tobuscus and Julian Smith. This is really, really difficult because I love all of them and they're all equally talented and such. But uh, let me start off with who I would do more than once, which is the obvious Tobuscus, because Toby Turner is just, he's funny, he's cute, he's adorable, he can, he you know, sing and make funny lyrics, and I just. Wait, his name's Toby Turner? Yeah. Yes. That's really unattractive. That's a really <laughs> unattractive. I feel like it'd be like Timmy Turner. Like this is weird. Okay, just keep going. <laughs> and then I would I would do Nice Peter once because I love I love his voice. Oh my god. I am such a hopeless romantic when it comes to guys singing and such. It totally, totally wins me over. And Julian Smith, I love Julian Smith, but one he's married and No way, is he? Yeah. Wait, he's married? He's married. How is he married and I'm still single? <laughs> How is this possible? <laughs> oh, God. I think that every single day of my life. <laughs> wow, I didn't know he was married. Okay, I'm sorry, Julian Smith, but now I'm going to have to kill you because, I mean, I just can't have sex with a married man. Maybe if she was just your girlfriend, that's totally fine. But if I were to do him, then I want him, to, like, as he comes, to shout out, I made this for you! Yes! Oh, my God. Yes! Oh my, oh my god, yes! God. But now I'm killing him because he's married. Damn and it. I'm going to fuck Toby Turner once because, I mean, he's just got really bad ADHD and I don't know if he could pay attention long enough to have sex. Oh <laughs> just god. get up in the middle of it. And so that would leave nice Peter for me to have sex with multiple times. And, I mean, he just seems like a great cuddler afterwards. Uh, the, th- the thing about nice Peter, you don't really know who he is. I mean, I... W- I just found out about him the other day. Like, I do all my KFFs. <laughs> <laughs> and I've only seen a couple seconds of a video with him without his sunglasses. And that's what ugly people do, is they wear their sunglasses. <laughs> like, Pyro Booby, Peter Chow, do you guys know who he is? He wears his sunglasses mm-hmm. all the time, and you just, you don't know. Like, when I'm having an ugly day, <laughs> I wear my sunglasses, because I don't want people to know that I feel that I'm ugly. I, I just, I couldn't. It's just too much of a mystery, so I, I, I think I would kill him. My fuck once, although I really don't want to, would be Julian <laughs> Smith. Because I don't think he's attractive one bit, like... Oh he's got God. muscles, though. Well, that's just awkward when people have mu- I hate that when people have muscles, but they're skinny. <laughs> It doesn't count he for can, anything. You're still skinny. He can sing, though. He can sing really well. I don't want him to sing to me while we're having sex. <laughs> Why not? I would. Because I don't want to be... <laughs> <laughs> then I would have to sing. concentrate on him, and that would just be weird. And uh, obviously, for my uh, fuck more than once, I would go with uh, Tabasco. He does look like he, he could be a good fucker if I made him into one. You could tell he really likes rough sex, but he just he doesn't want to like scare you away. You and Toby can, uh, you know play video games afterwards and cuddle. Yeah, that's, I'm actually a little bit excited about that. We're going to be talking about anal sex, titty fucking, and oral. So, yeah. so awkward sex. We're cutting that out. I, I had it. I, I let it go the first the other podcast. The YouTube world is not knowing. And if you put that in, I will slit your children. All right. All right. All right. That's cool. Can you leave the part in where she says that she'll slit your children if you leave something in, but th- let them guess like what it because is that people I know took out? People I know in the real world wa- watch this, and I d- nobody knows, and I don't want anyone to know. What so. do you guys think about anal sex? I feel like if a guy ever went anywhere near my butthole, I'd probably punch him in the face. But some people. <laughs> All right, I had a drama class, and this girl literally went on to tell me that she felt the same way, and <gasps> then she said that, like, her fiancé did, and it was really good, and that really freaks me out. I kind of wonder, like, would it feel good? I don't know. Uh, uh, Got- see, I've, uh, I kind of feel the same way, Gabby, but 
And then I talked to one of my friends and they were like, no, like it gets the G spot like way easier than in your vagina. So I was like, okay, well, might as well try the everything once then. Well, ah! I wouldn't do anal sex because when I have like a really big poop, oh God, that's like the worst <laughs> <laughs> ever so let me tell you right now there are several things that i said i wouldn't do but the whole anal sex thing i'm sticking with that i will never do anal sex this one of my uh ex-boyfriends wanted to do that like he would jokingly hint it at me one time he even tried poking at my butt and i was like don't you <laughs> Dare. Like I could literally feel my butt going like like my poop just rushed back in and I was just like ah oh no quick no. retreat <laughs> pretty much no that's where I poop all right the the vagina is customized for the penis not my poo poo hole just saying I don't know I I feel like the butt's very impersonal next let's talk about oral sex well <laughs> let's just say that I really like lollipops oh so. god. Oh my god. I have a feeling that I would really like oral. Like, who thought of this? Who was the guy that said, <laughs> let me, let, let me, um, shove my mouth in this girl's vagina, and I, I feel like it would feel really good for her. You're not, they're not shoving their mouth in your vagina. That would just be awkward. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, but would you give a guy head? I have. I mean, it's, it's not, it's, it's not exactly the, a friggin' trip to... Six flags, but I mean, <laughs> whatever it takes, right? Well, there you go. Yeah, I have two. And, th like, well, my first boyfriend, he really liked it. And I didn't really understand what was so great about it. Like, I didn't enjoy doing it. It was just kind of like, all right. And then my second boyfriend, he, like, really didn't care and didn't... Actually, he preferred just plain old sex, you know? Just, like actually having sex than the foreplay thing. Uh, one day I asked him if I could give him head because I was kind of curious. Like once I did it, I was like, what the hell am I doing? This is so weird. Like, cause I could, I can kind of like, you know, occasionally see his face and I'm just like, well, I don't want to kind of be down here Awkward. and him being up there. <laughs> This is weird. So I Whitney, I feel like I feel like you just have really boring sex. <laughs> I don't have boring sex. That's the thing. Just shut up. I don't have boring sex. The my first boyfriend that did do that was really bad at it. Like he was so bad that he tickled my vagina and I couldn't help but laugh every single time. Listen though, listen though. I like honestly, I would just prefer if they didn't do that in general. Like, they can if they want to, and if they want me to do that, that's fine. But it's just, I prefer not to, you know what I mean? <laughs> <What's that? laughs> my dog's disagreeing with your point of view. Oh my god, that was so loud. <laughs> Listen, oh. dog, alright? <laughs> Let's move on to boob sex. I can say... I would do it. You would? I would do it. I, I would think about it. Actually, no, I, I would probably do it. Nah, yeah, I would do it. But the thing is, like, I've got, I got, I don't have, like the no. biggest boobs to do that. Uh, Whitney, so don't, don't you say that you have small boobs because we have like the same size boobs. I know, but they're not like, you know there's like a certain size to do that stuff. It has to be quite large to, I feel like, to enjoy that. I feel like I'm so short that if my boobs were any bigger, I would just fall over. Like, or <laughs> I would just look really weird. All right, world, you, now you know, I'm a short piece of fuck. <laughs> well, Gabby, I'm a short fucking Oompa Loompa. All right, guys, now you know. So if you ever meet Look me, at it this that way. Be a it's easier for you to give head than for us because you're already down there. All right, I see your point. Ima imagine this: you have to hold your boobs together. In the in this yeah. case, like I've talked about it before, people, you hold them together. You're laying down, and you just see a penis going up and down, poking up in your face. <laughs> Like, there it go. Like, it, it's weird. And, like, your like mouth can't really turtle. reach it. Like, yeah, like, like you, just, you just have to watch it. You just, like, that's all you can really see. If you had to choose between anal sex, mouth sex, and boob sex, what would you do? Mouth. Oh, God, mouth sex. That's my favorite. I, told I you. would do boob sex. I can see Whitney doing boob sex. Uh, I don't want you seeing that, Rachel. <laughs> Get that out of your mind. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to play KFF with us, just comment below. And um, also, if or there's guys, us. Or, or tweeted us, of course, of course. Because sometimes if, I, I thought about that, and maybe, maybe I feel like I'd be a little shy to comment in the comments, because especially if the people watch it, it's like, oh, well, I don't want them to know. I mean, so I guess tweeting would be the same thing, but still. Also, or if you wanted to just private message me and just tell me that you want to fuck <laughs> me, I'm okay with that too. 
<laughs> also, uh, so a while back ago, Rachel and I kind of started this thing where, like, you know, we asked people who they would KFF between us. So you should do that with us, guys, if there's any guys watching out there. You know, just let us know who you would prefer. <clears throat> and yes, it's okay. We all know that you would kill Whitney. <laughs> that is not true. I have not been killed yet. I am proud of that. You two, however. <laughs> I wasn't even offended that I, that Matt killed me. I felt bad. I felt bad for killing him. Yeah, you both killed Matt. I just felt bad after knowing that he would high five. I was like, <laughs> damn, well, if I would have known that in the first place. <laughs> This podcast was lovely. I'm glad we got to hear all of our opinions. <laughs> and if you guys want to talk about your opinions as well, you can comment below and we'll at reply you or not at reply you. We'll respond to you. I, I usually tweet back or comment back, guys. So, I mean, I know I'm not that famous, but if you, if you say something to me, I'll respond. I'm not also, too good for you like other famous people. <laughs> also, if you would like to be a guest on our podcast, you are welcome to at reply any of us or message us or comment below. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.